Dustin, uh, what an interesting couple of days we had at the beginning of this week. Uh, Sunday evening after the race, we get the notification that NASCAR has disqualified Ryan Blaney. So he goes from sixth to last. And in a situation where if he wanted to make the final four, he's going to have to win a race because he was 50-something points beyond the cut line. Then all of a sudden, on Monday evening at dinner time, we get a notification that NASCAR says, you know what? Our template was screwed up. So now we're rescinding the penalty and we're giving Blaney everything back. Leaves your head spinning, doesn't it? It does. And I'm not the most technical person, so to explain this is going to be difficult. But it seemed like there was some kind of loose bolt or something in the template. Um, and, and they discovered it. And they've never had an issue with the next-gen car in the left front area with the shock. So they, NASCAR, I heard Brad Moran on Sirius XM on, uh, on Monday night after it was announced shortly. Um, and he mentioned, how, he mentioned just that, how there hadn't been an issue. And obviously, that's not the most important part to a car, important, you know, corner to the car. Um, you know, with the right rear, obviously being the most important. So yeah, it's, it, it's interesting, right? Like it's just a miss. It's a miss from, from NASCAR, but it's a good thing that they caught it, you know, and, and Brad Moran mentioned, and he, he stated he, he defiantly that this won't happen again. So you got to believe him with that. Um, just kind of a, a fluke thing and, and, you know, good for Blaney though. Good for him to get all of his points back. But I almost wonder Bruce, if, you know, Having to win, I think that's almost, I'm not going to say more easy, but now you got a points race, right? And for Blaney, they've been off really all year, only one top five since winning the 600 back in May. So um, having a points race, he's not, he's only got one top 10 at Homestead, Martinsville. He's really good. He's elite there. But um, yeah, I don't know. He's, he's kind of in an interesting scenario now. Well, definitely. The one thing I'll point out, though, is at least you have to give NASCAR some credit for transparency that they did admit there was something Absolutely. wrong with the template. And in a series that has such a low tolerance for the slightest discrepancy when it comes to their post-race technical inspections, for them to admit that the template had an issue with it, I'll give them all the credit in the world for that. Getting back to uh, Dustin's question you're right. Ryan really probably, it's probably easier for Ryan Blaney to win a race to advance than necessarily being in the position to point his way in. Because like I said, these next two races, there's a lot, especially at Martinsville, you can see a lot of points disappear by just getting involved in a couple of guys having a temper tantrum with each other. So right now you don't want to overlook Homestead, but <laughs> Right now, that Martinsville race looks like it's going to be a real cage match. Yeah, I mean, right now, Blaney is at minus 17 to the cut line. But the interesting thing to me is, you know, and you can be a cynic, Dustin, and say, well, NASCAR had to admit this because they've been losing so many appeals lately, and this would have been another one they lost. But <laughs> but they, the question being asked, and Dave Moody did the interview with Brad Moran and said, basically, you know, if the part was, if the, the template was off, then why was Blaney the only one who failed? And it sounded to me like it was, well, it had been slipping and ultimately he was the only one that was on the, you know, that slipped onto the wrong side of the tolerance as this, as the template slipped, as, as you talked about, Dustin, with, with, the, uh, with the bolt that was supposed to hold it together. Yeah, it seems like there's a there's obviously a minimum and a maximum tolerance, and it, it, all the other cars in, in pre-race inspection and then post-race inspection were more towards the maximum. I, obviously, you want to get towards the minimum, but they were they weren't as low as close to to what Blaney was running. So um, I think that's a, a key contributor to that too. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it is a good thing that it didn't go to appeals, right? Because then it would have extended the process we saw this last year in the playoffs with William Byron at Texas with the with the Denny Hamlin situation when he spun him out under caution and that didn't get um official like nothing happened until after the next race was completed at Talladega so that can completely change how you know playoff drivers race one another and then also for points or for the win Bruce well definitely the the way that uh you know the strategy is all determined on where you're at in the points or whether you're going to win the race and you know, to have a penalty that may be rescinded, how do you know which strategy to go with like that? But, you know, luckily, NASCAR was able to step up and say, hey, there was something wrong with the template here. So 
At least Ryan Blaney's playoff chances haven't uh, had a real damper put on him yet.